Hello guys, Luna here and welcome back to another update video. The latest update for Warzone just went live and includes a whole bunch of new things to look at in the Season 4 Reloaded update. I'm going over the entire list of changes and what's new, so we're going to jump straight into it. Starting with two new close quarter combat weapons. First, the OTS-9 SMG, or the OTS-9 SMG. It has a solid damage and fire rate similar to the Bullfrog, but lacks in magazine capacity. It can also be equipped with a 30 or 40 round attachment to improve its effectiveness against multiple enemies, but from the sounds of it, it's going to be a popular new weapon in Warzone. It can be either unlocked via in-game challenges for free, or could be purchased by the weapon blueprint, the inside job. Next, a new melee weapon is arriving later in the season, the Mace. The mace can inflict critical damage on command, obtain the mace later this season either by in-game challenges as well for free, or by acquiring its weapon blueprint through the Mystic Scepter store bundle. We have a new operator called Weaver. Requiem needs every last agent to rescue Raptor 1 from Kravachenko, even if it means calling in strike team leader Grigory Weaver to get the job done. A playable NATO operator across Black Ops Cold War and Warzone as part of the Tracer Pack Weaver Operator bundle, available in the store later in the season. Next, changes to Verdansk with new modes and things to do. Warzone's first ever objective-based game mode is here, and it's called Payload. Inspired by previous traditional Call of Duty game modes like Call of Duty World War II's War Mode, Payload pits two teams of 20 players against each other in a race against time for crucial intel. As these vehicles carry satellite parts that could help shift the balance of the war between Perseus and NATO, if the attacking team escorts all vehicles across all checkpoints within the time limit, they win the match. The defending team can not only pick attackers off the payload vehicle to slow them down, but also buy and build obstacles to stall these vehicles on the tracks. Basically, this is just Overwatch, but in Warzone. This all happens as operators are dropping in constantly with their own custom loadouts, searching for items across for dance like cash and kill streaks to aid their team in escorting or stopping the payload. Look for payloads in the featured playlist rotation as part of Season 4 Reloaded. Next, a new event type, Blueprint Blitz. Similar to Double XP Weekends, Raven Software is planning to activate a new special global event where contraband contracts automatically spawn after you complete two regular contracts in Warzone. Contraband contracts award you with a permanent weapon blueprint reward if you're able to extract it from the DZ, in addition to tons of cash within your current match. Blueprint Blitz should give you the opportunity to earn plenty of weapon blueprints from prior seasons if you missed out and you didn't play Warzone during the time they were originally available. Contraband contracts award you with previous seasonal rewards after you complete the contract. Next, the Red Door becomes more mysterious. What exactly is changing about the Red Door is unknown right now, so keep an eye out for anything new after the update. But there is one new thing being added to the room where you go after the Red Door, which I will talk about now. So a new kill streak is being added to Verdansk, the Sentry Gun. Similar to how it operates in Black Ops Cold War and Modern Warfare, the Sentry Gun scans in a near 180 degrees radius in front of itself to seek and destroy enemies. It executes this kill pattern for at least a minute after deploying before it collapses by a harmless explosion. You can find the sentry gun as an extremely rare legendary item drop within a red door room supply box. So I expect them to be very powerful, but they will be pretty rare to find as they're only in red room supply box areas. Next, gifting comes to Warzone. Warzone is introducing the battle pass and store bundle gifting feature from Black Ops Cold War. Lastly, new prestige items have been added, calling cards, emblems, and the kill chain perk now increases the chance to obtain all Warzone kill streaks from loot. Okay, let's move on to the actual patch notes of the game. Loot that spawns across Verdansk has been adjusted as follows. New Gulag loadouts have been added. The specialist token is now slightly more common in Core BR. Combat bow kill streak damage has been increased and it will now down enemies who are directly hit. Players will now drop their current equipment directly behind them when looting a loadout drop. Vertical camera movement will no longer be locked when sliding on a downward slope. Dirt bike update as well. Wheelies. Lean back to lift the dirt bike and initiate a wheelie. Lean forward to increase steering sensitivity and allow the dirt bike to perform sharper turns. And the dirt bike now supports leaning forward and backwards in the air as well, so make sure to position yourself for the perfect landing. To user interface and user experience. New social menu tabs, the recent squad and recent lobby. So, added two new tabs to the social menu to display recent squad mates and recent game lobby members so that players can be more easily found and so you can play with recent teammate members. 
Other players that the player interacted with during a match will automatically be sorted to the top of the recent lobby list to make it easier to report instances of cheating and toxicity even after the match has ended. Next, added a new accessibility option to change the visibility duration of incoming messages. Players can adjust the length of time that the text chat widget stays on screen when a new message is received. Next, a whole bunch of changes to weapons to try and balance the time to kill in Warzone, starting with the AK-47. Headshot multiplier decreased from 1.62 to 1.5. Upper torso multiplier decreased from 1.2 to 1. The AK-47 Modern Warfare version Upper torso multiplier decreased from 1.2 to 1.1. The C58 headshot multiplier decreased from 1.62 to 1.58. Upper torso from 1.2 to 1. Lower torso from 1.1 to 1 as well. And maximum damage range increased by 8%. And it has had a recoil increase. So there's going to be a lot less people using the C58. The CR56 AMAX headshot multiplier increased from 1.5 to 1.55 and upper torso multiplier decreased from 1.1 to 1. Assault Rifle Bravo, headshot multiplier decreased from 2.05 to 1.62, and upper torso multiplier decreased from 1.2 to 1.1. For the FARA, the maximum damage decreased from 31 to 29, and recoil has increased. So again, there's gonna be a lot less people using the FARA, which is one of the main things people use right now. Fear 1, headshot multiplier decreased from 1.5 to 1.4, Maximum damage decreased from 27 to 25, and minimum damage decreased from 25 to 23. Maximum damage range decreased by 20%, and neck multiplier increased from 1 to 1.2. Assault Rifle Golf, upper torso multiplier decreased from 1.2 to 1.1. For the Grau 556, minimum damage increased from 22 to 24, which is good because I've been using the Grau a lot lately. The Grotza, maximum damage decreased from 28 to 27, maximum damage range increased by 4.5%, headshot multiplier decreased from 1.62 to 1.5, upper torso multiplier decreased from 1.2 to 1.12, and lower torso multiplier decreased from 1.1 to 1, recoil pattern has been smoothed as well. For the Krig 6, minimum damage increased from 25 to 26, the M13's minimum damage increased from 19 to 20, Assault Rifle Charlie's maximum damage decreased from 28 to 27, and minimum damage de increased from 22 to 23. The Odin's upper torso multiplier decreased from 1.3 to 1.2. For the QBZ, it's had a minimum damage increase from 22 to 24, so that's a buff. Base move speed reduced by 3%. Base adds move speed reduced by 5%. Upper torso increased from 1.1 to 1.2, and lower torso increased from 1 to 1.1, so... The QBZ has had a good buff. Ram 7 maximum damage decreased from 28 to 26. For the XM4 maximum damage decreased from 32 to 30. Minimum damage decreased from 28 to 27 and add speed decreased slightly and recoil increased slightly as well. To the M60 maximum damage increased from 36 to 37. Headshot multiplier from 1.5 to 6. MG34 maximum damage decreased from 31 to 29. Minimum damage from 28 to 27. Headshot multiplier decreased from 1.5 to 1.4. Upper torso multiplier decreased from 1.1 to 1. MG82's add speed decreased slightly. Light Machine Gun Alpha's maximum damage increased from 31 to 32. And damage range decreased by 7%. Upper torso multiplier decreased from 1.1 to 1. The SA87's upper torso multiplier decreased from 1.2 to 1.1. Light Machine Gun Alpha maximum damage decreased from 34 to 33. And upper torso decreased from 1.1 to 1. For sniper rifles, the Swiss K31 adds animation updated and now shares a base reticle with the ZRG 20mm. Two SMGs, the AK-74U maximum damage decreased from 35 to 31, so that's a huge difference. Minimum damage increased from 25 to 26. Headshot multiplier decreased from 1.62 to 1.6. The upper torso multiplier increased from 1 to 1.1 and bullet velocity has increased by 5%. Submachine Gun Alpha, minimum damage increased from 25 to 26, and multiplier decreased for headshots 1.62 to 1.47, so again, that's a big decrease. For the Bullfrog, maximum damage decreased from 32 to 31, headshot multiplier decreased 1.62 to 1.5, left upper arm multiplier increased from 9.9 .9, to 1, right upper arm multiplier increased from 0.9 to 1, 
left upper leg multiplier 0 0.9 to 1 and right leg 0 0.9 to 1 as well. KSP45 headshot multiplier decreased from 1.62 to 1.57. LC10 maximum damage decreased from 30 to 27. Minimum damage decreased from 25 to 24. Headshot multiplier decreased from 1.62 to 1.55. For the MAC-10, maximum damage decreased from 24 to 23, and minimum damage decreased from 20 to 19. The Milano 821 recoil increased slightly, maximum damage range decreased by 12%, headshot multiplier decreased from 1.62 to 1.38, upper torso decreased from 1.2 to 1.1, and lower torso multiplier decreased from 1.1 to 1. Maximum damage for the submachine gun Alpha decreased from 33 to 31, and minimum decreased from 25 to 24. The nail gun's maximum damage decreased from 50 to 46, headshot multiplier decreased from 1.62 to 1.45, and upper torso decreased from 1.28 to 1. Submachine gun Echo maximum damage decreased from 35 to 34, but minimum damage increased from 25 to 26. PPSH 41 maximum damage decreased from 28 to 26. ISO minimum damage increased from 20 to 21, submachine gun delta minimum damage increased from 25 to 26, and Fennec maximum damage decreased from 25 to 24, minimum decreased from 20 to 19. Tactical rifle Charlie headshot multiplier decreased from 1.8 to 1.7, CRV.2 multiplier headshots decreased 1.7 to 1.6, and the M16 headshot multiplier decreased from 1.8 to 1.6. So I know there was a lot of info in there guys, but there are some huge changes coming to weapons in Warzone after this update. There's also one change to an attachment, the BLCW Sniper Optic with 4 times or greater magnification will now state that they have an optic glint. Plus guys, there is a whole bunch of bug fixes as well to go with that, which will be on screen now. That then is all of the changes in today's Warzone update, including the new Season 4 Reloaded content. Guys, if you want to see straight to the point update videos for all the biggest shooter games, no clickbait, no 10 minute videos, just the official news and updates as they happen, no matter how big or small, then subscribe and help to grow the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Okay, bye.